Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about four types of models and those four types of models take either the dependent variable in the logarithmic form, an independent variable in the logarithmic form, or both independent and dependent variables in the logarithmic form. And uh, the interpretation of beta coefficients or the slope coefficients slope parameters they depend on uh, whether we are taking the log of uh, each of the variables or we are dealing with uh, those variables at the levels make sure that you understand the unit of measurement and also whether you are transforming any of your variables while interpreting any of those uh, slope parameters in this video i'm going to show you an example in r that example will show you all these four cases based on whether we are taking the log of any of the variable or not so let's get started okay so here's an example and the example uh, is from the ceo salaries data set and here i'm using uh, four variables the first variable is the salary variable which is the salary of ceos in 1990 in thousands of dollars so make sure when you upload your data in R, you are familiar with the unit of measurement of uh, this variable. So remember that this variable is represented in thousands of dollars. And the sales variable, it's our independent variable. This variable represent the sales value of a firm in 1990. And this variable is represented in millions of dollars. Again, make sure that you understand the unit of measurement of each of these variables differ. And then L salary and L sales, these take log of uh, both of these variables. So we are transforming both of these variables by taking natural log of each. The first thing we need to do is uh, bring the data from the Vulrich package. Obviously, if you are using your own data, you have to use the load function that I described in another video. Or if you are working uh, an example from the Singage system, you have to bring that data into R. Then I'm saving this data as my data and then i'm attaching this data the first model that i'm going to run here is uh, the level level model and here i'm regressing salary of uh, the ceos on the sales value of the firm and remember salary is represented in thousands of dollars and sales are represented in the millions of dollars so we have to remember these uh, units of measurement to interpret uh, uh, the beta coefficients or the slope parameter that we will get Applying the summary function of uh, this saved command will give us uh, these results. So here we are interested in uh, uh, this coefficient and uh, this coefficient. The intercept coefficient shows us if uh, the sale of a firm is zero, the salary of that CEO will be this much. But we may be more interested in knowing whether sales has any effect on the salaries of uh, CEOs. We'll talk about uh, statistical uh, significance uh, of these variables in the next chapter. But here we are more interested in the interpretation of these uh, coefficients. So what is the interpretation of this coefficient? So the interpretation is if the sales increases by one unit, and remember, sales is represented in $1 million. So by one unit means if sale increases by $1 million, the CEO salary increases by about $1,545. That is, we multiply this coefficient, the coefficients that uh, we get uh, here, we multiply it by $1,000. Why $1,000? Because our salary, it is represented in thousands of dollars. So we have to multiply the coefficient by $1,000 to get uh, this number. Again, the interpretation is, if the independent variable changes by one unit, in this case, $1 million, then the dependent variable that is ceo salary in this case increases by this coefficient multiplied by the unit of measurement in this case it was thousands of dollars so we have to multiply okay so the second model that we are going to use is level log model in this case we are taking the log of the sales but we are leaving the salary variable as it is the coefficient that we are getting for l sales or the log sales is two dollars and ninety cents the interpretation would be if sales increases by 1%. So see, because our sales are represented in the log form. So if sales increases by 1%, CEO salaries increases by $2,620. Okay, so this coefficient is uh, showing us uh, the change. So we can get our result of uh, this number by multiplying beta coefficient 
over 100 and since we are representing salaries thousands of dollars so we have to multiply it by one thousand dollars so our beta coefficient is 262.9 uh, multiplying it by one thousand dollars and dividing it by 100 it should give us two thousand six hundred and twenty nine dollars so that's how we'll get this number the next model is the log level model in which we are taking the log of the dependent variable and but we are leaving uh, our independent variable as it is as you can see l salary is our dependent variable and sales in millions of dollars it's the explanatory or independent variable the coefficient that we are getting is uh, 1.49 and the first digit appears at the fourth place and the interpretation of uh, this coefficient is if sales increases by one unit which is one million dollars then the ceo salary increases by about this much so we got this measure by multiplying this number by 100. So the coefficient value was 0 0.0000149 and we multiply it by 100 to get this number. So that's how this beta coefficient is uh, interpreted. If sales increases by one unit, which in this case is uh, 1 million CEO salary increases by this coefficient multiplied by 100. So that would be beta 1 multiplied by 100. So that will be the impact. And finally, um, our most favorite model is the log log model in which we take the log of both the dependent and independent variables. Regressing the log of salaries on the log of sales will give us this coefficient. And the interpretation would be if sales increases by 1%, CEO salary will increase by this much and in this case it will be 0 0.2567. So this is how you interpret your uh, slope parameters. The interpretation of these slope parameters depend on uh, whether we are measuring our dependent and independent variables in levels or in logarithmic form and also we have to make sure that we are taking care of uh, the unit of measurement of both dependent and independent variable. So this was an example and uh, if you are confused about uh, any of these interpretations throughout the semester you probably have to come back to this example so this is probably the most important example that you will see in this class okay i'll see you in the next video bye bye